Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a review of Hula by Benefit, which is a bronzer, and it looks like this. And this was highly requested on my Facebook page and also through comments and looking through them, so I thought I should just go ahead and do it. How I'm going to do it, I'm going to tell you what it is, the packaging, and then at the last moment I will compare it to the NARS Laguna bronzer because a lot of people have questions on whether they should get the Hula by Benefit or the NARS Laguna bronzer because both are really nice bronzers and I'll tell you the difference and what you should take into consideration before you buy one. Okay, so let me tell you about Hula by Benefit because this is a review of Hula by Benefit. So we have this box powder and Benefit is really famous for box powders. They have Coralisa, Dallas, Dandelion, and now they have Hula. And it's just supposed to be a bronzing powder. It just says bronzing powder. It says, lightly brush the soft bronzing powder across cheekbones and forehead or anywhere you love to look tan. So it's just a bronzing powder and it comes with one of those brushes, but I took it out because I don't use the brush and it just takes up space in the box. So I decided not to put that in. And, but that brush is really nice. I don't know where it is now. It's somewhere in my collection and I'm not going to get it. So looking at the box itself, I don't like the bulky packaging. I've never liked the box powders packaging simply because I have a lot of makeup and putting it in a little drawer takes up space if you have this one big bulky thing when you can be as slim as the NARS Laguna. But other than that, this is a really good bronzer. I really like this for contouring. This is a matte medium brown shade. But when I swatch it, or when you swatch it at the store, it's not going to be very pigmented. It's going to look something like this, which I've swatched for you. But when applied to your face, it's going to look a lot darker. It's not going to be totally dark. It's going to be the perfect amount of darkness. And although it looks really light, it's even lighter than cocoa, don't worry. Don't pile this on onto your face. When you apply it to your face, you'll see the difference already, especially when you contour with it. It's really nice. I like how it's matte, so it gives you a very natural finish instead of a little shimmer, which can distract you a bit. But if you have a darker skin tone, of course, I have a lighter skin tone. If you have a darker skin tone, it's best that you stay with bronzers with a little, little shimmer in it. Because if you have bronzers with a little shimmer, it can give your face a little life. If you have a matte bronzer, it can often turn your face a little ashy. So keep that in mind before you buy a bronzer, whether you're a dark skin tone or a light skin tone. Other than that, this is a really good bronzer. I love this bronzer. How do I apply it? I get my MAC 109, get your contouring brush or whatever you contour it, dab a little in the box, tap the excess, then use this to just buff the contour onto that E shape right there. So on your temples, cheekbones, and jawline. And you can see already that this is a lot more contoured as this area. I'm just going to equalize it. It's just very simple. A lot of people like to do this fish face <laughs> to apply the bronzer, but I have done this so many times I don't really need to anymore. So you can see that is a great look and very good bronzer. I totally recommend it and I give it a 5 out of 5. Now a lot of people have been wondering, hey, should I get the NARS Laguna bronzer or should I get the Hula by Benefit? Because I don't know which one to get. Okay, if you're in Australia, let me just calculate the cost for you. This is 11 grams of product, and this is 8 grams of product. This is $51, and this is $72. $72! It's crazy. You can get this at Mecca Cosmetica in Meyer, Melbourne, and this is $72. I got this for $72. I bought both of these, and I got this off Strawberry Net, but still at Benefit Counter, it's $51. I don't know how much it is on strawberrynet.com, but you can get it there for a lot cheaper. Taking those costs into consideration, you can see that you get more product here, 11 grams instead of 8 grams, and this is only a lot cheaper, $20 cheaper than this one. So I would say, honestly, go with this one. Go with Hula by Benefit because it is an awesome bronzer, especially if you are my skin tone or lighter. You can see the difference when you contour it. Great as a contour powder. However, if you are a darker skin tone, I would say stay away from Hula by Benefit because it can make you look ashy. There's not a single ounce of glitter on it. I'm not saying that it will, of course, make you ashy. I'm not like saying that. I'm sure there's a lot of darker skin people who like to use matte bronzers, but I've, you know, realized that it can make you a little ashy. So if you're a darker skin tone and above, going with might be maybe going with the NARS Laguna bronzer or any equivalent that's cheaper is going to be a good idea for you. I've hit pan so badly. Simply because it's going to 
add a little light to your face and it's going to look a lot prettier, very nice. Both are, both are really good bronzers though. I'm not dissing any of them. This is a great bronzer. I already have given it a 5 out of 5. It's great for contouring, great for bronzing, good for lighter skin tones. But comparing the price and the product itself, I say Hula by Benefit definitely wins. That's how much I love this product and it's one of the few products I like from Benefit. So I hope you like this review and have a wonderful day. I'll see you later. Bye!